hey guys welcome back to my channel today is sunday i'm gonna be recording part two of my q a today this sunday so in honor of self-care sunday i'm going to be doing a little bit of masking with you all during the q a okay just a heads up on that so that's why i'm coming to you all fresh face i'm just gonna put one of my tube head wraps on I got a lot of repeat questions. So remember that I did do a part one. If you ask a question regarding any of these topics, I'll just scroll them right along the screen right now. So if you had a question about any of these topics, definitely check out my part one where I covered those questions. So Charlene Hyman writes, what advice would you give to a woman who thinks they can't make it on their own and stays in a toxic relationship slash marriage? So my honest advice is never be afraid to rewrite your story, you guys, because you might like the new ending better. <laughs> you may just enjoy the new you, the new story, the new path much better. And <clears throat> that doesn't just relate to heartbreak, you guys. We've all gone through something in life, whether it's leaving a school, leaving a job, leaving a town, leaving a city, where we were completely nervous and frantic and worried and life just has a way of working itself out. Although I definitely encourage you to mourn your loss and grieve your loss, you should also look forward to better and brighter things in the future. I often get skincare questions on my videos, so let me just interject real quickly and tell you guys that the older I get, the more into skincare I get, but I am not consistent <laughs> all the time. Like I have bouts of consistency where I'll be on my regimen day and night um, for three weeks straight and then I'll fall off for a week or two weeks or three weeks or a month and then get back on it. And that's why I've been incorporating this mask into my regime over the last few weeks this mask was actually sent to me from Timi. it's their detox mask and it's their green tea blend after falling off my skincare routine for a bit my skin was suffering it was looking blotchy i was breaking out this mask helps to draw out impurities and has definitely made a difference in my skin since i've started using it and just so you know for my vegans it is a hundred percent clean it is cruelty free and it is made in small batches it's made with organic matcha green tea, so it draws out impurities, but also replenishes your skin with superfoods. So I'm going to let this dry while we continue our Q&A. Ooh, Claytine Nisbet says, what are attributes of a good friendship? What are deal breakers and what won't you tolerate in a friendship? To be honest, I feel like the same attributes that are present in a good relationship, romantic relationship, are often present in a good friendship, even though they're platonic and we don't look at our friends the same way, obviously, that we look at our romantic partners. But a lot of the attributes that you look for in a romantic partner, if you think about it, your good or best friend probably has. And that's what I've noticed with my friendships. Um, the best connections I have with my girlfriends we are we look out for each other as we would look out for ourselves and it's a very unselfish unself-centered relationship particularly with my roomies um two of my best girls who i live with as you guys know keisha and half um, we all just look out for each other and care for each other we also are aware of each other's love languages so yeah, they're they're great girls. It's just really nice when you have people who who want to understand you and want to know you <laughs> and want to care for you the way you want to be cared for. So that's how I honestly feel. I, I really feel like the attributes, the most important attributes that you look for in a romantic relationship really should be the most important in your um, platonic friendships as well. Um, those are the best friendships that I've personally have ever experienced. Monica Robinson says, would I ever consider moving to the States? Um, I don't know why I would. Like if you guys can give me some answers to that. Um, I get this question a lot from Americans. I don't get it from anybody else. And I think it's because Americans do have this idea that America is the best country to live in but most americans you know when i say can you give me an honest reason why i should move to the states or would move to the states they really can't um so i think it's just based on your personal experience um you guys have 
heard me constantly complain about um, our harsh winters here in Toronto. I am a summer baby. I just love sun. Um, I have Caribbean blood streaming through my, my veins. Um, but to escape our winters, I don't have to go to the U.S. to do that. And also, you know, I kind of prefer my racism with a side of free healthcare, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'm good. I think with that question needs to come a lot of self-searching. Like, you really need to ask yourself why you're asking that question. Why do you think that somebody, as a Canadian, born and raised in Toronto, who has my family, my friends, my home, my free healthcare, my business, why you are asking me if I would consider leaving all that to go to the US. Like I really, really, really want to know your reasoning for the question and that's not shade. I just really want to know. <laughs> Tammy J asks, in the past you had an opportunity to do a TED talk but turned it down. Would you do one now? Um, so for those of you who don't know, a TED talk is essentially like a motivational or inspirational speech done by somebody um, who's like an expert in their subject matter um, and if you YouTube search TED Talks, you can see that they've been offered and done by many celebrities and famous influential people. And I was flabbergasted that I even had that opportunity presented to me. I have been on YouTube for embarrassingly <laughs> over a decade. I've been on this platform since before it was monetized, since before you could make money, since before it was considered a career or could be a career path. Um, I've been on here when people were still afraid of the internet, like it was still kind of weird and why are you even putting your face online type thing. So for me, my purpose of being here is a little bit different than the newer school of YouTubers slash influencer, in my opinion. My goal is right here, right here with me and you. YouTube is my hobby. I love the platform. I fell in love with the platform and that's why I'm still here after 10 years. I'm definitely not in it for the money, trust me, or I would have been gone year one. <laughs> so, so to sum it up, no, I don't think that if the opportunity presented itself again that I would do it this time around because it's just not my goal. Um, I'm happy sitting right here in my room talking to you guys, engaging with you guys this way with my camera. I don't have a desire to get up on stages. I don't have a desire to travel across the globe and do meetups. I don't have a desire to have my own spin-off show. Like celebrityism from YouTube was never my never my goal. And I just feel that if I want to give an inspirational or motivational speech, I can do it right here on my platform. So I've learned that, you know, comparison really is the thief of joy. For a long time I wondered why why I don't want this. Like why I don't want the typical influencer thing, you know, but I'm just content with what I have. I'm content with you guys being in my little camera box here, my viewfinder, and um, you know, I can be dressed from the waist up. <laughs> don't have to worry about tripping on stairs or you know, whatever. I'm I'm just good doing my thing here. So, yeah, I've I've come to accept that some opportunities are not for me. So I will leave those in the very capable hands of the YouTubers and influencers who want the spotlight and who are comfortable with public speaking and have that as part of their goal or development plan. T. Leah wants to know how many siblings I have and what part of the Caribbean are my parents from. Um, so I have three sisters, two brothers, and my parents are from Jamaica. Um, so TB asks, how is life better one year after the breakup from the abandoner? <laughs> um, you know, what's funny is I came across a meme, gif, whatever you want to call it. I think it was Facebook or Twitter, um, a few weeks back. And it said, sometimes what you lost is the exact reason why you started winning really weird how much that has applied to me over the last year um, since he left and these are all things that you guys can clearly see in my vlogs and videos that I share with you but like a lot of positivity and positive things started coming into my life the second he left so um, to answer your question how is life better I struggled to find an area that hasn't improved since he left 
Tonya Posey says, do you ever run into the boy? And if you do run into him, how would you handle it? Or would you just not speak? Um, I do not run into him. I have have not seen him since. Um, the last time I saw him was July 2nd of 2019. And if I did see him, there's nothing to say. Like I have nothing to say to him. If you didn't watch my vlog journey, then I definitely encourage you to go back and and take a look at everything I went through. He just up and left. So it was a very, uh, it was a really difficult time. You know, people do say that divorce is somewhat like a death, like you do grieve. I don't want to equate it exactly to a death, but it, just for lack of a better term, it was kind of like a death with, without a death certificate. If you think about everything you have to do when you lose a spouse, um, in order to dissolve dissolve joint businesses or settle whatever debts or cancel accounts typically all you have to do is fax in or scan an email in a death certificate i didn't have that i but I, he was gone so when i needed to get a hold of him to talk to him about all that stuff he up and vanished he had no consideration no care in the world you know i had to sink all my money into lawyers to take care of that to figure that out to handle that i did that and i no longer need to speak to him about anything so any conversation that needed to be had is long gone and there ain't nothing left to be said sis alicia jones oh my gosh alicia jones is one of my favorite people one of my favorite youtube people ever she has been a subscriber for eons probably as long as i've been on the tube she's also a youtuber she's a small youtuber so definitely check her out guys i will put her channel name right here but um i have nothing but love for alicia jones she's been with me for a minute and she asks when you start traveling again what's the first place you'll go i want to say jamaica like i really want to say jamaica you guys know that's where my roots are that's where my heart is i love jamaica what's not to love i love jamaica so that will likely be the first place that i plant my feet on and just you know squish my butt in the sand i cannot wait i cannot wait a close second runner-up though may be mexico and the reason why i say mexico is because you still get the sun you still get the caribbean flair you know what i mean the food is amazing every time i've gone i've had no issues there it's also cheaper to travel to than jamaica so the reason why i say second runner up is just in case it's a group trip and i want to try to include as many of my girls and friends and family as possible then we'll probably go the cheaper option and head to mexico but if it's just like me or just me and one or two friends then we do in jamaica we doing it big so opal rue says i love it when you talk about your business thank you How's your business doing during quarantine and where do you want to take it? By the way, I bought my first wig from you years ago, still loving it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Opal. You're the best. I think, as you guys know, quarantine really affected pretty much every avenue of business, every type of job worldwide, really. We were all affected, including myself. Um, so I definitely took a hit. I think that when quarantine first started and people were... Um, you know, unsure about their job security and stuff like that. They really reeled in online spending, which is, you know, my arena, my area. I'm an e-commerce site. So I definitely took a hit in that way. But what hit me the most was shipping, shipping issues, logistics, because I ship across Canada. I also ship from Canada to the U.S. I also ship overseas. And so with COVID, um, mail carrying was really affected, particularly um, crossing borders with customs and stuff like that. There were two to three weeks, sometimes four week holdups. So that was the hardest thing for me to um, to deal with. It was just a mess. It's definitely much better now. And my shipping times have gone down considerably, but it was really it was really hard to deal with. I, I was frustrated and I felt my customers' frustration. So hopefully, 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 um, you know, shipping carriers, both USPS as well as Canada Post and Royal Mail have learned sort of through the first wave. And if there is a second wave, I hope that 
we can continue with this sort of smooth sailing of transferring packages because that was my biggest, biggest frustration. Um, in terms of where I hope to take my business, I hope to just be able to continue to do what I love and continue to be able to support myself. That is my goal with my business. I don't want to say I'm not a big dreamer, but my dreams really, I feel like my dreams have always been realistic. I've always been a realistic kind of dreamer. I've never been one to say I want a multi-million dollar warehouse. Like, I'm really comfortable being able to work from home and being able to pay my bills on time. I'm just... I'm just great, so grateful for what I have, and I hope that I can continue to have that. Tonya Posey. Oh, I think she already asked a question, but yeah, she has another question. How did the boy tell you that he was leaving you, and what do you think made him stray? So I don't know if you know the definition of abandonment, but <laughs> he abandoned me. So that there's a difference between abandoning somebody and telling somebody that they're leaving. Um, the boy abandoned me. And what do you think made him stray like a dog? So I don't think that anybody can make somebody stray. I don't think that anything can make somebody stray. I think that if you are a dog and you're going to stray, you're going to stray. So either it's already in you or it's not. Love my fro. Will you consider adding maxi skirts to your brand? The skirt you made was beautiful. Thank you, girl. Um, if you guys don't remember, I took a sewing class uh, last year and i loved it i loved learning a new skill um when i packed up my house very promptly to be able to sell it i put a lot of my stuff in storage including my sewing machine so i'm looking forward to getting that out of storage once i move into the new house and setting up my little office space where i can start getting my feet wet again but you know everything i sell on my website i would purchase myself i never sell you guys anything that i think is subpar or you know not up to the the right standards i would definitely want to perfect my sewing skills before i sell you guys anything complex that i've sewn including clothing you know the head wraps are a little bit easier you know i've got a grasp on that but in terms of creating seams and adding zippers and buttons you know it's a bit it's a bit more it's a bit more difficult, so that's something that I would definitely have to work on before I bring it to you. Okay, I just want to show you guys that the mask has definitely dried. It's all stiff. You can see it cracking. So I'm going to go rinse this off so you guys can see the difference in my skin, and then I'll answer a couple more questions. <laughs> I'm back and I just rinsed the mask off and I don't know if you guys can see the glow I really love how this mask pulls out the impurities and just allows your natural skin's sheen to kind of you know come through it's pleasant to use you know it's got a nice fresh scent and it's easy to rinse off so I'm really happy with the way this mask has um, improved my skin since I've been incorporating it into my skincare regime I do have a coupon code I will link it down below daily 15 so you can get discount on your purchase if you're interested in trying this mask out and thank you to Timmy for sponsoring this video um, I really says what's your most valuable money advice personally I think always expect unexpected costs <laughs> savings are very important i know we all can't have you know a huge amount in savings at any given time but um, i think it's important to always expect unexpected costs and save for those people call them rainy days i call them unexpected costs whatever you want to call it i think it's important to have a little bit of cushion um, I'm not a financial expert by any means, but I do really enjoy Patricia Bright's new platform called The Break, um, where she shares some of her financial 
expertise and advice. So if you're interested in that from a black woman's perspective, I would definitely suggest checking out that channel by her. Cynthia Kepney Brown says, it's been said it's easier to get over a breakup by deleting all pictures and throwing away everything that person gave you. Do you agree? Um, I actually have my own tips for overcoming heartbreak and making it easier for you. If you missed that video, I will link it in the atmosphere, but it's called four tips to overcoming heartbreak. And those are the things I think make it easier to overcome a heartbreak or breakup. Um, the Renee asked, did you attend or graduate from college or university? If so, what was your major? Um, yes, I went to York University here in Toronto and my major was psychology. Erica Hatcher wants to know if I miss feeding the squirrels. She says she feeds birds and squirrels often. I do miss my squirrel family and I have met a new squirrel friend at my new home. So I'm looking forward to building a new squirrel crew there as well. Um, I have over 150 questions, so I think there may be continuous parts, including a part three coming up next. So thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Timmy Blends for sponsoring today's video. I will link my coupon code down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.